back for another video and if you're new welcome to, first before we start the vlog off let's start the vlog off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god to say i am blessed is an understatement i am beyond that you have let me make it this far and never left me alone i truly believe that you have you have a way more in store for me and my story is only beginning thank you for being for keeping me and my loved ones fed, safe, and healthy. Thank you for the lessons I learned and the wisdom I gained in the month of September. I look forward to the new month with your, with your spirit guiding me. May October be a month of tranquility and peace for everyone around the world. And I'm ready to enter October with grace and hope. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So I pray that prayer blesses you guys today. Today is Tuesday. I just got my grocery delivered. Um, I spent about $200, that's including with tax. So I'm gonna show that to you now. Um, I bought a few extra things because the kids are going to be on fall break in the next two days, for a few days. And when they're home, they stay hungry. Um, so let me show you guys a grocery haul and then I gotta go run some errands and you guys of course gonna come along with me. All right y'all, this is everything that I got. It does, to me, it doesn't seem like a lot. I kept this in the bag because it's kind of bloody. I got uh, four pounds of ground beef for some sloppy joes this coming up week. I got some cream of celery and then I also, I got four cans of cream of celery and then I got some peaches, the chunk ones. I found this recipe online. It was a suggestion from one of you guys. Y'all told me um, you would love for me to make some peach uh, pound cake. So we will see, most likely I am gonna make some. I got the buns for the uh, Sloppy Joes. And then I heard from someone on TikTok. I follow her like food videos. She is so top, she, like I love her stuff. But anyways, she said this is the best cornbread. That's what she said. Now I knew she came out with cake mix, but I didn't know she had cornbread. So we're gonna try it y'all. We're gonna try it. And then, but they I asked for two things of cornbread. I didn't ask for the biscuit, but she came out with the biscuit as well. So I'm gonna make sure I let them know that was, that was a mistake. I got the Kool-Aid jammers for the kids. This is for their lunchbox. Some green beans, oatmeal, mild cheddar, cheese, a bit more Baker's Joy. Y'all know I go through this a lot. Cream cheese. I use these magnesiums at night. I always take magnesium um, glycinate at night. Uh, some yeast, quick rice yeast. I get the Celsius packets now. I just like to add them to my water. Vegetable broth, some apple cider. I use this for the gnats, especially around my Blanche, my, my, my fiddle fig tree. She's full of gnats right now and I've been trying to treat it. But one thing that has been helping a lot is when I make the, the bowl with apple cider vinegar and a little bit of Dawn dish soap with some water. Mix it real good, let it get foamy. Um, and it's been collecting them. So instead of using my Bragg's that's nice and expensive, I got some Walmart uh, apple cider. Some buttermilk, ketchup, we were out of ketchup. Butternut squash for a harvest recipe I'm gonna share with you guys. Some zucchini also for the recipe. And then for the sausage and potatoes I make in the oven, I'll share this recipe with you guys a few times. It's an easy recipe, but of course I'll share it with you again. There's always new people here. And I got three things of the Hawaiian punch. The kids really like this very blue typhoon. I bought it one time for to bring to small groups and they really like this. So I bought three. Um, and then milk. I got three things of milk. The kids gonna be home. Everything I got from Walmart delivery. I do gotta go to Aldi and get the, um, my orange juice and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll be doing that today. Now, a lot of y'all asked me about the Aldi keychain that I use, which works great, by the way. It was only like, for a three pack, it was like $7. Um, so John has one and I have one, but it works so well. It's from Amazon. You can find it in my Amazon link in my description box, because many of you asked where I got it from. The one time I don't share where I got it from, because I thought I had, is when you guys really asked. <laughs> I, no, normally I have it covered because you guys ask me, okay, so this is where it is, so y'all know where to go. But I forgot to tell y'all, and a lot of y'all told me um, that I forgot to tell y'all where it came from. It came from Amazon. You can find the link in my description box. Now I gotta put this stuff away, and I'm by myself. <laughs> that means I gotta do it by myself. Half of this goes to our garage fridge because it doesn't fit in the main fridge. Yeah, I'm about to get a workout in. Please hold. 
All right, y'all, so I got my library card. It took less than five minutes to do, but there's a problem. Um, they, like, for example, I'm trying to download the audiobook that I want to read, which is called Fourth Wing, and it says there's 11 people ahead of me, so it's a few months hold, placed on hold October 3rd. So, I, really? So, is there only that a few people at a time to read it? I don't know. I have a, a like on TikTok. I say uh, I'm definitely on Book Talk. I like to look at baking, cooking, cleaning, and Book Talk. Like people doing recommendations and reviews on books. And I saved a bunch of them. So I'm hoping I can read some of them. But that's pretty cool. It's an option to have. Um, I just don't like that. I have to wait for other people to take their sweet time reading for me to be able to read the book. It says placed on hold. So how long is it going to take? Wait, several months. Yeah. Oh, let me see if I can find another book that's on my list. Because I need something to listen to. So there's another title that I want to read. It's called The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. They have three copies in use. 94 people waiting in total. 31 people waiting per copy. I thought I was going to cancel my Audible app today, but it looks like I'm going to have to keep it. <sighs> Let me see another example. See, I go on TikTok and I save a bunch of them. Fortunate side see? effects of heartbreak and magic. Both are just absolutely screaming at me. Like that this, they're, um, they're like, um, you know, recommendations on here. So I just, I listen to a lot of them. They have a Christmas one, I think, too. I love stuff like that. I love stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm going to have to keep my Audible app till I can read something on here. It seems all the books are on hold. I'm a little disappointed. All right, y'all. So, I'm going to show you again how it works. This is the little coin thing right here. You put it in there. Pops up. And that's it. All right. I do this with one hand. <laughs> also, they have some apple cider donuts. I think I'm gonna get some for the kids. I'm gonna get two packs. They're $3.29. Look, they even have the pumpkin cream cheese uh, muffins here. The little cake bites. They also got some pumpkin pecan cookies, and they have the pumpkin cake roll. So they have a lot of good stuff. Y'all, these are my absolute favorite trail mix right here. I love them and I also put them in the kids lunchbox. These are $3.59 for eight packs, which I think is pretty good. Oh, this is so cute. These are the floating witch um, hats. How much is this? The float, oh, $6.99 for three. These are LED too. Hmm. I like this. This will look cute. Also have these pumpkins right here. How much is the pumpkin? The lantern is the jack o' lantern for $14.99. Oh, I love, love, love. They have the black, which I, I like this one better. And then they have this one. I was hoping that shelves would be restocked by the time I came back, but I guess not. All right, y'all, so this is everything I got in my Aldi cart. Y'all know this is our favorite orange juice, the best. Almond milk, some apples, and a trail mix with the donuts. I'm com contemplating on getting the kids some yogurt. Um, this is their favorite yogurt. I don't know. Do we have the space for it? I'll give them a case. Go ahead. So I just put in a curbside order for Chick-fil-A because it's across the street. Y'all, I haven't had any breakfast. I don't know why I do that. I leave the house without eating and now I'm like shaky. I'm jittery. So I'm going to eat. You know what's crazy though? I feel so guilty eating out. I don't ever, 
order anything for myself while I'm out and about or go out to eat by myself ever. This lady's right where I need to turn. Um, because of the fact that um, I'm so used to eating out with my family, if I do eat out, because we've cut back on that, that uh, I'm, I don't eat out by myself. So yeah, I, I feel guilty. I just put in an order for me to eat because I'm so jittery and I feel so guilty. I'm like, <laughs> my kids would have loved Chick-fil-A. My husband would have loved Chick-fil-A, even though my husband eat out all the time because he eats out with his coworkers. They put in on money for lunch and they'll do all kinds of stuff. But yeah, here I am feeling so guilty for me buying myself some food. And I never do this ever. I don't think I ever really have. So that's why I feel so good to my destiny. would have loved some Chick-fil-A. The boys, the boys would have loved some Chick-fil-A. I'll keep that to myself because if they find out I got Chick-fil-A today, they're going to be mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Destiny, they're getting ready to go on fall break. Destiny loves Target and Starbucks. Those are the two things. He's like, Mom, we're due for Mommy Daughter Day at Target and get some Starbucks. I might do that soon with her because we haven't done that in a while and it's fun going out with her. The boys do not like doing stuff like that. So, um, yeah. I got a comment months back that I never hardly show the boys. Why I don't hardly show the boys? Why I don't take them out? Y'all, the boys don't hardly like being on here if you see them it's very rare it's like seeing bigfoot you know and they don't like going shopping they don't like going out and doing things so that's why that's is the more lenient one that would like to do stuff like that she doesn't mind me filming but the boys don't really like that kind of stuff so that's why you don't hardly see them and they definitely don't like shopping or doing anything like that so it's not that i purposely do it but that's one thing I don't have is favorites. The lady, the way she made the comment, is like she made it sound like I have favorites and I don't. I'm like, what? That's crazy to me. But I probably do a mommy daughter day. Um, coming up soon. We'll see. It depends how she is feeling. Destiny has been having a lot of asthma flare-ups, so when we, I thought she was getting better, she's right back to coughing again, so we've been putting her on the nebulizer machine, and um, yeah, it's been helping a little bit, but once she starts school, it's like, she gets sick so easily, at least once a week, which sucks. Boys, good so far. Destiny, she's my child that, um... It's always like it don't sneeze nowhere near her because she'll get sick. Where's the curbside order? Okay. So I ain't trying to be in nobody's line. Okay. Oh, okay. I see where it is. I'll do number eight. But I promise you, I have no favorites at all. It's just. Now, it may change where Destiny might not want to hang out with me as much when she becomes a teenager. But right now, I'm enjoying it. The boys don't really like hanging out with mom. They don't think it's cool. All right, y'all. So I'm at Walmart. John told me the other day when he went to Walmart that they took out all the Christmas stuff. So I'm about to go see what they have. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Christmas, y'all. Christmas gets me excited. So I'm about to go see what they have now. Right, y'all, so the last time I came in here, I fell in love with this pot. It is $40. It's like the right color and everything that I like. It's a Pioneer Woman pot. It's a six quart cast aluminum jumbo pan okay okay i also like this one too right here by drew barrymore this one's really pretty this is 60 dollars though Oof. I'm telling you guys i needed a new cutting board the one i have is really well used this is 30 dollars though for cuisin art no i think i'm still gonna check like home goods or tj maxx see i like the darker wood ones this is 20 dollars and it's pretty by Diamond Table. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, Diamond Table stuff. Like, their stuff is just so pretty to me. This is pretty. It's like a lavender color. Come here, I look at the same stuff because it's so pretty. Oh, this is the breakfast tray. Nice. That's $20. That's such a good deal. Condiment tray. Why Walmart gotta have their stuff blasting? Like, it's so annoying. It's, it makes it hard to film. But I like this too. Oh, this is nice. Oh my God, y'all. Oh, it's out. I'm so excited.
finally home. I am tired. I am so tired. I did get a few things. I found Destiny a Grinch onesie. Last year they were sold out. I'm hoping I can find the adult sizes for all of us, but I was able to find find hers in the justice um, section and it was $18. So I'm hoping I can find for all of us. Usually, it, um, last year we didn't do Christmas pajamas and I so regretted it because it was sold out or most of our sizes were sold out. So this year I'm gonna try to stay on top of that because I love matching uh, Christmas pajamas. I love it. But this is what I got her. So if you're looking for something like this, I got it from the justice section in the girl section. Uh, she'll be happy to see that. And then I, every year when they come out with the Christmas dresses, I think this is the last year for me to be able to get her one. In the girl section, they always come out with like these long sleeve Christmas dresses. She has the one from, the, the theme was Nutcracker. And I got her that one. Now this year they came out with this uh, theme and it was $6.98. I think it's her last year wearing one so got her that and then she <laughs> this is like the queen of sending me amazon links good thing i don't have her logged into the amazon account because she would fill it up with stuff but she does like to send links and she wanted these house shoes but they were 25 dollars i know walmart had it for cheaper sure enough they did the exact same type of shoes it's pink and everything and this is 9.98 she needed a house shoe. She sent me these that were pretty similar on Amazon for $25. I got them for $9.98 um, at Walmart. So nice and fuzzy. So that's what I got from Walmart. And I also got some ornaments. When you see the stuff like that at Walmart, it's best to get it pretty soon instead of waiting to the last minute. Because by November last year and a year before that, like clockwork, most of that stuff was gone. So little by little, you can pick up one item or two if that's what you want to do. Let me show you, I told you I was gonna, in the last vlog, I was gonna add pops of gold to my Christmas tree because I have red and white and I wanted to add pops of gold. So let me show you what I got. So I got this nine shatterproof ornaments. They were $10.98. I thought that was a really good deal. I'm gonna get it closer so you guys can see. That's what it looks like. I thought these were so beautiful. Oh my God. I got that. And then I got Walmart Zoom and Stay. Now my Texas house, the brand, I love their stuff, but their stuff is like mainly neutrals. And they had a lot of white and gold in their section. So I got this ribbon from there. This was $17.88, but it's pretty big and it's thick as you can see. And it feels so good. So that's, I got this to add to the um, Christmas tree. And yeah, that's all I got from Walmart. And I walked around the Walmart for a while just looking at stuff on there. It felt good. And then I was ready to come home. <laughs> y'all so this is my cooking slash semi um baking segment right here um it's the next day as you can tell and i am cutting up a five pound bag of red potatoes those are my favorite ones to bake in the oven i will have to say this my second favorite will be the yellow potatoes this is a five pound bag and i am making the potato sausage casserole very easy to make um i noticed that whenever i make either mashed potatoes or anything with potatoes five pound bags is what will feed my family <laughs> which is crazy but I also got three packs of the kielbasa sausage I will soon show you guys you can use whatever seasoning you want I love easy recipes especially on the days I don't feel like cooking so this is a one pan dish you can also cook this over the stove, especially if you have a cast iron skillet. You could roast this in the oven, which is my preferred way. I just like to put it on a pan and just bake it and let it do its thing. So it's one of my fa my family favorite meals. Just like I was telling you guys in a past video or two, like spaghetti is so easy to make, but that's my 
family's favorite meal. And then this recipe is also super easy to make. And it's also one of my fam family favorite meals. I've shared this recipe on here many, many times, but of course I always have new people on here. So I love sharing it with you guys because I know you guys are busy as well. Right here, I am drizzling some olive oil. I love using olive oil for my food. It's my favorite oil. So you drizzle the potatoes with olive oil and then you put season the potatoes with whatever seasoning you like to use. Right here, I'm using the seasoning I get from TJ Maxx. The first one I'm using is the roast vegetable seasoning. I like it. It gives it color, but it tastes really good for roasted vegetables. So I'm adding that right here for the potatoes. And then I also use the garlic and herb seasoning that I also got from TJ Maxx. I love these seasonings. They're like $4.99 per jar and a jar is pretty big so you can pretty much add whatever seasoning you want you do not have to use what I use just add what you want on here sometimes I just keep it simple add garlic and like Himalayan salt and pepper or kosher salt it depends but uh, the polka kielbasa sausage is my favorite one to add on here two is like if you add two packs it's kind of like you're digging for sausages in your bowl so I started adding three and three is like the magic number for me so i hope you guys get to enjoy this recipe i normally add red onions to this um casserole dish that's my favorite one to use but i could have sworn up and down and i would have bet fifty dollars that i had a red onion in the refrigerator but when i went and checked there was no red onion <laughs> i would have lost that bet so I did add, um, I cut up two white onions because they were pretty small as the ones that you get from Aldi. And that worked out well too. White onions is also another favorite of mine. So I just like to slice them up and just, you know, just sprinkle it over on the top. And then I add two packs of the frozen green beans. You could use fresh as well. I just like to add the frozen one right now. So once you get your casserole dish in the oven I bake it for 400 degrees so right now I had it preheating in the oven and then I baked I had to bake it for an hour and 10 minutes because it was so much in the pan but if you don't make as much then I will cut back less time it all depends because you have to put a, put a fork through the potatoes and usually that's how you could tell if everything is done but I had to do it for an hour 10 minutes plus not to mention all ovens are different so you have to customize it for yourself depending if let's say your, your oven cooks a lot hotter or whatever you do what you do you know but I did mine at 400 degrees for an hour and 10 minutes sometimes it's less if I add less ingredients or less amount you get what I'm saying so that's what I had to do but the house was smelling so good y'all and right here I am starting the Dolly Parton sweet cornbread I couldn't wait to try this because I heard so many good things about it and it's so easy to make you add a third cup of melted butter one cup of milk and one egg in here had i had two boxes of this cornbread i would have made double but you know they you know they messed me up they did give me my money back though and then i buttered up a cast iron skillet i got this cast iron skillet from walmart i have the big one that i cook with and then there's this one that i cook a lot of like dessert or my um, cornbreads in. So I buttered up the, uh, the cast iron skillet and then I just added it in here. And then while the potatoes were cooking in the oven, I just added this one to the top rack and it cooked within 30 minutes. So it was very easy. And let me tell y'all, let me tell you guys, it, it tastes so, so good. And it also has a jalapeno cornbread or cheddar cornbread recipe behind the, on the box. But I definitely recommend this um, cornbread. So let me know if you guys have tried it. I already added melted butter to the top of this cornbread. And right here I'm adding honey to the top. And it is so good. Have you tried it that way, y'all? Let me know down in the comments. But I definitely recommend. <music> So I hope you enjoyed that um, cooking segment that I just shared with you guys. But first, before we finish this video off, let's finish it off with a leadership board shout out. So if you don't know what Fetch is, Fetch is an app where you get to scan your receipts and you get 
gain points toward gift cards. So I will leave my referral code here. And if you already have Fetch, you can add me already on there. Just look for it simply, Yesenia. And if you request my friendship on there, I can add you and it adds you straight to my leadership board. But I like to do the top 20 spots on Fetch. And number one is Nina Sky. Number two is Ryan McGreal. Number three is Cindy and Scott Fitzgerald. Number four is Danielle Jackie. Five is Marquita Parker. Six is Kenya Brown. Seven is Denal Jones. Eight is Stacy Faust. Nine is Daphne Jones. Ten is LXXI. Eleven is Jacqueline Tixera. I think that's what it says. If, it, if it's not, I'm so sorry. Uh, Twelve is Francesca Hughes. Thirteen is Erica Bell. Fourteen is Michael White. Fifteen is Sin City. 16 is Jennifer Holcomb Canfield. 17 is Natasha C. 18 is Beth K. 19 is Beverly Marie. And number 20 is Calicia Harold. So that's the top 20 spots on the Fetch Leadership Board. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. Bye, y'all.